Hi Tenfold, my name is Mbali and I'm from Soweto and I would really like you guys to help me with this question. It reads as follows. In the triangle below, a height is drawn to the hypotenuse. Find x plus y plus z. I'd really appreciate your help. Thank you. Bye. Okay, this question is great. It involves similarity and also just some basic grade 9 maths. Let's take a look. It says, in the triangle below, a height is drawn to the hypotenuse. So obviously that's this height over here. Find x plus y plus z. Okay, so initially I look at this and I'm thinking, how on earth do I find these numbers? Because obviously you want to try and use Pythag in this triangle, Pythag in this triangle, and Pythag in this triangle. But that makes no sense because two variables in this triangle and two in that one. But if we look at this big triangle over here, we can see that this whole length here, let me label A, B, C. The whole length BC is given to us as x plus y. So we can already find an expression for x plus y because remember BC squared is equal to AB squared plus AC squared because of Pythagoras. Okay, which means that x plus y squared is equal to 9 squared plus 12 squared. If we square root both sides, we're going to get x plus y, which is part of what we're looking for, is equal to the square root of 9 squared is 81, 12 squared is 144. Okay, that simplifies to the square root of 225, which if you know your special square numbers is 15. So, we have an expression for x plus y, it is 15. Now, if we look up here, we can easily prove similar triangles because now we find that this length here is 15, okay? If we want to use z, we can now work in this triangle here. Let's label that D, A, D, C, triangle A, D, C. I'm not gonna go through the whole proof, but guys, you need to prove these properly similar to each other. So A, D, C would be similar to B, A, C. Why? Because C is common. Let me just write this out. C, angle C is common. Angle A, D, C. Okay, let's work in this triangle first. Angle A, D, this is meant to be C over here. A, D, C is equal to B, A, C because they're both 90 degrees, so given. And then obviously the last angle will be common. So DAC, DAC is equal to ABC, not common remaining angle. So that means that they're similar because of angle, angle, angle. So now ADC and BAC. ADC is similar to triangle BAC. Now, we're trying to find an expression for Z, which is AD. So, if I use AD over its hypotenuse, which is AC, so we get AD over AC. This curve over this curve is equal to the same curve BA over the same curve BC, okay? So, AD, which is Z, over AC, which is given to us as 12, is equal to BA over BC. BA is 9 and BC we just found is 15. 9 over 15. Why? Because of similarity. So that means that Z is equal to 9 times 12 over 15, which gives us, let me get up my calculator, 9 multiplied by 12 divided by 15, and we get 7, 2. Okay, so that is an expression for z. Remember, we're trying to find x plus y plus z. So remember, we found x plus y is equal to 15, 
and z is equal to 7 comma 2. So 15 plus 7 comma 2 is equal to 22 comma 2. That is a really fantastic question. The moment you have this kind of question and you're initially automatically trying to use Pythagoras, try and figure out a simpler way. If you can prove similar triangles, do that. It's so much simpler. Trying to find ratios and proportions from similar triangles, much easier than using your Pythagoras.